Hey everyone, welcome to Tuesday with Pastor Dan. Uh, good to have you join. Um, some of you know that the wife and little guy um, took off back uh, to where Bethany is from and uh, originally, and uh, we're hanging out, celebrating, having a good time. So I was solo for like three and a half days, four days, um, which uh, was interesting because she used to this routine and this this normalcy of a baby making noise, uh, cooing and giggling and all those things, and yes, crying, but um, but it, it just used to that. So I got home after taking her to the airport, and I was like, it is quiet in here. Um, and so in that time, there's maybe just a little too much quiet, but they got back yesterday, and I went and picked them up from the airport, and she came off the airplane, and he was just sprawled out in her arms. It was it was late, pretty pretty late. So, um, then he kind of popped his eyes open and looked at me. But I feel like in those four days that he was gone, he grew like so so much. It's crazy. Um, he has teeth now. He has, he has two teeth on the bottom, and he's the third one coming. I mean, they're not all the way in, but they're coming. And uh, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Um, this is like the really cool time. I mean, it's all been cool, but this is just really cool to watch him like figure stuff out. His little brain, his eyes light up when he does something new. When he, when, now that he's able like, oh, I, I can sit up a little bit on my own and I can do these things and the teeth and, and I am just constantly amazed. Um, and I realize that I'm not just constantly amazed with him, but like, but with God and what God is doing, um, I'm amazed that God changed our hearts and minds to have a baby, something we didn't think we wanted. And and God is, is like, I'm just amazed with how, how this, I mean, just a little baby, but now he looks giant to me. He looks like he grew like four inches and, um, and just his like voice changed in four days, like kind of deeper or something. I don't know, but I'm, I'm amazed at what God, um, has done it just by, in my life, by giving me this little guy. But I think that's maybe the point I'm trying to make is that we kind of have a choice in how we approach daily life, right? We approach it with this level of, oh, what's next, or, oh, what's next, this level of amazement and gratitude for what's happening around us and through us in spite of us that God is doing, and I think, I think that's what I try to, have been trying to do um, each day is to try to be more aware of the amazing things that God is doing in my life, around my life, um, Part of what happens with track and field is when you see it click for a kid. Yesterday, one of my athletes, one of my throwers, had just this breakthrough practice. And it's the perfect time, right? Coming in the districts to qualify for state. Just throwing absolute bombs. I got a couple who are struggling and waiting for that light bulb moment. It'll come, um, but I'm amazed. I'm just amazed at their abilities and their uh, their their who they are as people and who they're going to grow into be. And I'm excited to be part of that. I, I just, I think we all could do more with our daily lives if we functioned in more of an amazed kind of way, like in awe of what God is doing. That's this half the Psalms are about that. I am in awe of what you do. I am, I am awestruck. I am inspired, right? We, we, but we, maybe it's just a perception um, an orientation of how we look at the world. I, thankfully, thanks to having a kid, I think has been a big part of that. But I'm going to choose to be amazed by the world around me. Not defeated, not destroyed, but amazed and grateful. I hope you all have a good week. Look forward to seeing you soon.